Hey guys, Zyke here, and welcome back to another episode of Cave Factory. Hello. I moved some stuff around. I made our little farm over here that's really dangerous to step in. Ow. <laughs> but it looks pretty. So I got a lot of berries going. I got wheat going back here, and then this will be hopefully all carrots once it starts growing better. If I run around, it'll grow, but eh, I got things to do. So, and I moved the bamboo to over here, so it's growing okay. I don't know if it needs more light. I don't know that the, these like it grew evenly and I'm a little like scared. <laughs> I w I'm trying to figure out if this is a light thing. That's why it's gr growing this way or if it's just a coincidence that I have made a design with the bamboo. So uh, we'll figure that out later. But I decided I was looking around. I'm trying to figure out how to do the crushing wheel. And I think we're just going to go ahead and figure this out together. because I think that's what's going to make more sense. And you guys can yell at me for any wrongdoing I do. So, <laughs> and I went ahead and I made another set to make a windmill, but I went ahead and put a sail on it. So hopefully it'll spin a little bit faster. So the thing with the crushing wheel is you have the two and they need to spin in opposite directions in order for them to work. And the best way for that to happen is if we make a gearbox. So it says you can't get power where you want it, use these. You can use gear shift to control rotational direction with redstone. So I want to make one of these. So all it is is it takes four cog wheels and an andesite casing. So I'm going to type in gearbox so that way I don't forget it. And I believe we have the cog wheels. We just needed the andesite casing. And to make that, it's just the andesite alloys, some light blue planks, and a piece of wood. So super duper easy. Just got to... Just got to get it together. I believe that's all the parts I needed. Yep. All right, there we go. So we get four of those, and it gets the andesite age. And then make a gearbox. I don't know if we'll need more than one, but if we do, I can always make more cogwheels because they're not hard to make. So how about we start this out by... I don't have to keep these even. I'm going to be moving them in the future at some point regardless. So I'm not going to be too worried about that, but I do know I have to set it up probably sideways like this is going because it would make the most amount of sense. However, I'm not 100% sure how I'm going to do this. I made a box, but I don't think this box is actually going to work the way that I want it to, but we're about to find out. So I'm going to put the large cogwheel down here. It doesn't have to be even. And I need to put down the windmill bearing. Not not that direction. Right click the bearing with the enemy hand to attach the structure. I... There we go. There we go. Do that. Put down our oak plank. And then struggle to put the sails on once again. Right, these are not hard. Well, actually, that's not the right direction anyway. <laughs> because hey, these aren't hard. No. Is it like this? Yes. Now I don't know if it'll affect it based on how it's facing, so we'll find out. Alright, do I have to do it kind of like this? Yeah. And then I gotta get up. Oh, I don't want to use my stone. So I don't know if this matters if it's up or down, because if it does, then this needs to be flipped. Hang on. That needs to be flipped, and then this would need to be flipped. There we go. And then... Alright, let me up. Eh. There we go. There we go. Okay. So hopefully that'll work, so let me go ahead and right-click that. 512... 512. I don't know the difference. But are they spinning opposite directions? No. Okay. So we have that going, and I'm going to go ahead and connect a cog wheel about here. Okay. And I think what I'm going to do... So we need our crushing wheels. I need cobblestone. So we need our crush crushing wheels. It takes they have to be a block apart first of all. So I think I'm gonna have it where I was originally gonna put a chute and some some uh, barrels underneath it, but I think for now, since we're not automating this yet, this is just to get like our basics done. 
we're going to just kind of put them close to the ground. So it would be like this. So I might actually not want that up. I might need it down. So I want to be able to reach. So, and then our crushing wheel will go here and here. So yeah, you need that space in between. And this is where it's going to get tricky. So I have a shaft, a shaft. Probably going to have this go down. So is this all even? That's all even, okay. We're getting there. And probably need more of those. So if I do that... So what we have to do is get these to the edge. So I, what I could do is just put these next to each other. I don't know if that affects... It probably, more than likely, affects the torque and all that. But this is the only way I know how to do it. Unless I do it like up B and then go back down. That doesn't really save me much. <laughs> Unless I do it like this. No, because that doesn't reach. Wait, how would a large wheel connect with a large wheel? It doesn't. Okay. Unless I guess it goes sideways. I know you can do that. Alright. Um. Okay. I need more cogwheels and more things. Okay. We're gonna figure this out. Cog wheel requires a andesite alloy and some buttons. And then do this. Okay. And then we also need, I think it's an axle. 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 Help. What are you called? <laughs> oh, I get a gear shift from that. I need... where is it? Where is it? Where is it? How do I make things? Shaft! And it's just two andesite alloy on top of each other. Nice! Okay. I don't know where the gear... Sh this is a gearbox. What does the gear shift? Controlling rotation of the torch is using the gear shift related torch in a straight line. Oh, it's just a redstone. Ah, oh, when powered by redstone, it reverses the transmission. Interesting. Could we have that to our advantage? Probably not in the so close of the Demeter, but... Hmm. I don't think so. Now, like I said, what I could do is just... Now, I have to figure out which way would be the correct way. So if I do... Eh, and then eh. That's the wrong direction. So this one would have to have the gearbox, but the, you can't connect them that way. Hang on. Uh, well, I can scooch these. It's always an option. But I want that to be a different direction. Hey. Nope. <laughs> or is this the right direction? That would be the right direction anyway, so... Boop. Boop. Okay, now it's the right direction. Okay, figuring this out slowly but surely. Oop, too high. So now it's this other one, so I'd have to figure out how to get this to go. So if I do it like, that would be the opposite direction. And then if I did like a big one, it'd be the wrong direction. So I need it to be like that, but scooched. Uh... Can I... I don't know what I'm doing. That's up B. I don't need it that way. This is hard! 
Hang on. Uh, well, I know you can have like a gearbox directly against it. That that much I know. So like, if I were to do this, and then this, and then that, I could do that. But it's just a matter of like getting this to spin the way. Oops. The way that I need it to. Cause like. I don't know how to do this. Hmm. I'm sure I'm being yelled at. That's fine. I just simply do not understand how gears work. And that's okay. Let's see, if I do this, I can go crooked on the big one. Pretty sure. Will it let me? Well, that's not good. <laughs> It'll let me, but that's not good. That wouldn't even be the same, the correct spot anyway. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. I'm trying to think. Like, it's just... My brain doesn't want to work. Hang on. So, like, dismantle it all. Let's restart for a second. I need to figure out how the gearbox works before I try to get all this fancy stuff back here. I have all of this going on. Yeah. But the problem is, and I'm gonna do it this way, because... I'm sane. Not really. We're gonna do it this way just so I can mess with it for a second. So if I do this and put one here, it's probably gonna break everything. And one here. Those spin opposite directions. But that doesn't help me. <laughs> because I need it this direction. This, th this facing me. I don't understand. Hang on. We're going to pause for a second and I'm going to figure this out. Okay? Okay, I think I have an idea. I completely dismantled what I've done. And I have an idea based on information that I have come up with by just staring at it really hard. So, what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to do a... Well, I, gotta, I don't know which one's going to be correct yet. So, I'm just going to back up, back up, back up. I gotta put down the windmill again. So I'm gonna put it on the very edge over here. I don't know if it'll matter if it's touching a wall. If it does, it probably will. Hang on. I'm just gonna break this wall and hope that I have enough space. I should have enough space. But you never know till you do it. And I haven't done it because this is complete guesswork on my part. And my inventory is already full. Drop so many of these blocks. They were grateful at first, and now I have found them annoying. <laughs> okay, so let's get rid of all of the ores and put. It's probably also just the way that I organize. I'm very picky about it, so like I don't want to just kind of throw things into places, and that makes it a little bit more difficult to get things done because I'm picky. All right, so I have an idea. I put up the cobblestone I needed. I'm very scrambled about this idea. <laughs> okay. So, I'm gonna put the windmill down now. It needs to be at the same level as these are, so I need to put it up. So if I do this... It's gonna be here. So this would be here. And then... The... Where is it? Windmill bearing is gonna be right here. Perfect. So we're going to go ahead and put a, I don't know if I want to just immediately put a large cogwheel on it. I think I can. We'll just have to. Eh. Eh. Well, that's going to, eh. Well, that doesn't work. Hang on. <laughs> we'll keep that there. I'm going to have to put something here. Nope. Here. Here. It wants it there. That'll work. Alright, I'm gonna put a large cogwheel here. Oh no, does it have to be one up? I think it has to be one up. I'm gonna move it up one. 
like I said, I'm kind of figuring this out as I go. So we're going to do one, two, un. Okay. We're going to put down the winding windmill bearing. I'm going to put down a large cogwheel. I'm going to put down two smaller cogwheels off the sides. Okay. And now we have to build our white sail, which, like I said, I'm not 100% sure if it matters how it's orientated, but I'm going to make it face the right way because it makes me feel better about everything. Okay. Uh, this way. You got to move. And then like this. And then like that. Okay. Alright, I actually can put this torch back to where I had it right there. Okay. So if I spin this... Okay, it can touch a wall. That's good. See, I built that specifically not to have it touch the wall. Whatever. Uh, well, that means I could probably scooch these wheels back. So this one's spinning the correct way and this one is spinning the wrong way in relation to the crushing wheels. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have this go out one, but on this one I'm going to put down the gearbox, and now it spins the opposite direction. So now if I put down this and this, it works! Awesome! See, it does the little sparky things. That means it works. I did it! We did it, guys! We figured it out. We just had to do this, and this is not nearly as complicated as we thought it was going to be, and it's doing 16, which I think is a good number. So all we need to do is, like, I guess I can take the cobblestone that I have, uh, and make... Well, I don't know. I gotta, I gotta get up there somehow, so we're gonna do it like this. And we're gonna just toss what we have. And it'll crush it. Very slowly, but it'll crush it. Oh, there it goes. You can see it. Come on. Come on. I don't know how long it'll take. I did put third. There it is. We got gravel! So, and now I want to get sand, which I would think is just gravel in there again. Okay. So now I got gravel. And that's what we're wanting, is we want sand. And it just wants one. But I'm going to get more than one. I'm going to get 15, because that's what I want. We're probably going to need more of this in the future. But this is a good start. Like I said, it's pretty slow, but it's a good start. I know you could do a lot with create. I just don't know. But it's also like, I only have one of these, and I wonder if the more sails you put on, the better. Now, obviously, or at least from what it appears to me, more having the wool on there doesn't really affect it. Which is strange to me, because having wool on it would make a sail. That's just... frame. So, I don't know. I guess, I mean, I can save my material because all I have is string. It's not like I have sheep or anything like that. So, come on. Here we go. Ooh, we get clay, too. Yay, quest complete sand. And I get one clay ball out of that. But that's a good way to know that I can get clay. And that'll give us 28 glass because it's a random amount. And that means we can start working towards actually making a smeltery. So, it says this is a demo version of a smeltery. Place the heater below a melter, insert coal into the melter, and ore metals into the melter to melt them. You can use gold to create casts, which will allow you to shape metal how you want. So we need a seared heater, a seared melter, and a seared faucet. And to make these, we're going to need a lot of these seared bricks. Now, like we said, we have been making seared bricks from seared cobblestone, which I believe has to be smelted first. So if I go into here and how to make that, you can make it through grout. But we would prefer, yeah, it has to be seared stone. That's the preference. So let's go ahead and get some of this melted by throwing it into the furnace. And then we're just going to have to wait for that to happen. So, and like I said, I wanted to put a chest underneath there originally, but I don't really have the space for it. But in the future, when we start figuring this out a little better, barely enough space to have things in there. Okay, when we figure this out a little better in the future and we start digging this area out, this has to do with the torches. I, there's no other explanation. We'll see if that helps. <laughs> um, 
But once we start digging this area out a little bit more and that sort of thing and actually creating defined spaces for it, because like I said, this won't stay the farm, this won't stay for bamboo, this won't stay for create forever, because I do want to make a pretty decent air looking area for it. I think that would look great. So this is just us trying to figure out. We're trying to get our basics. And once I can figure out how all of this works, like this works like this. So in the future, I could probably replace this windmill with something that has a little bit more torque. And that way this can go faster. But I will, uh, but I know how the basics, like this is the general layout here with all these gears and stuff. So I know how to squish that. And I could possibly, no, this is as squished as I can get. So it'd have to be one, two, three by, preferably one, two, three, four, five by probably five again. Because it's one, two, three, well, three. I like my space though. So, but yeah, doing something like that. And then I know like this is big and I can plug these up and stuff, but it's just finding out exactly what works for the create mod when it comes to torque. Cause like I said, I've used water wheels in the past and I think that's all I've ever used before. So I didn't even know this existed. And I know there's a lot more. I think there's like a fan you can use that involves like lava and something like that. But I've never used lava and I don't even know how to get a hold of lava because I think I need blood magic. So, <laughs> yeah. But I think we're at the end of this episode, so I hope you guys enjoyed. If you have any tips, tricks, or anything like that, please put it down in the comments below. I always greatly appreciate it. I do want to mention, now that we're at the end of the fourth episode, and I've meant to say this in the first episode, I am currently at school right now. Uh, not at the time of recording this, but the time that you're seeing this. So a lot of these are going to be pre-recorded and that sort of thing. So, um... Well, maybe if I just run around, it'll grow. So, I won't, like, I'll see all y'all's comments and that sort of thing, but I won't be able to actually do anything about it. So I'm sorry if I'm dumb. <laughs> and I'm dumb for a long time. <laughs> but I'm trying my best. I'm just getting everything done. Because I do want to leave you guys with some stuff. I don't want to, I, 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 unfortunately, like, during Christmas break, I didn't have any videos for three weeks. I've had nothing, and I feel so bad about it. And I'm just like, eh. But I've been streaming to make up for it. I hope that works. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, but like that, that, that's where I'm at right now. So trying to get my degree, got a year and a half to go and then four more after that <laughs> for pharmacy school. So, uh, we'll see when we get there though, but I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.